Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chain of Memories Let's Play with me, Mirgard Neko. Me, Roki Magathan. Alright, and last we left off, we are off to another floor. I think we have three world cards left. And it's between Olympus Coliseum, Monstro, and Halloween Town. I usually do Halloween Town next, even though it's probably... I wouldn't say it's the hardest out of all of them. I feel like... Gosh, I don't like the looks of this place. I bet it's crawling with ghosts. Well then, what's there to worry about? You wouldn't be spooked if you already know what's coming. You really think so? Trust me! Welcome to Halloween Town! Wow, that was the best shriek I've heard in ages. If you're that easy to scare, I'm going to have a great time. Sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Jack Skellington. Halloween Town is my town. I'm the king of nightmares and the master of terror. If you want chills and horror, you've come to the right place. Well, we don't. At the moment, we've got a little problem in Halloween Town. What kind of problem? Well, a problem like this. Ah! And we fight. So, I will say off camera, I did do a little grinding, so I do have a save point and a Moogle room to use on this floor. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I at least had one for this episode when we got back into recording. Oh no, my experience points! No! No! Not my experience <laughs> points! This I hate this about this game! Why can't I just get my experience points normally? Why do I have to collect it? Because gimmicks! Screw that. What's the big idea? Why'd you go and call the Heartless? I didn't call them. In fact, I'd love to get rid of them. The Heartless go around attacking people instead of just scaring them. Why are they here? I was just going to ask Dr. Finkelstein the same question. I'm heading to his laboratory right now. Follow me, gentlemen. <coughs> <laughs> uh oh. Sora. I was adjusting my chair and I didn't adjust properly. <laughs> uh, you didn't fall out of it, did you? No. Sora. You would have heard a big thud. <laughs> okay. Sora, what should we do? I guess we'd better go. I don't like this. What if he's leading us right to the Heartless? Bingo! You saw right through me! Oh, I almost threw out my voice on that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. Now let's get going. Learn terror key of beginnings. I think Jack is pretty good at this. I forgot her. Let me see. Surprise! You are coming like Donald. Yeah. Now this was always the movie that I grew up with. Oh yeah. Like we... out, out of all the movies that or like out of all like the Disney stuff that is shown in Kingdom Hearts. This was like the only one that I was like, oh hey, I actually know this one. Yeah, like the I grew up with this movie too. It came out when I was it came out in ninety three. It came out before the Lion King. I think it was ninety three. Oh uh, well I have the magical power of Google. <laughs> and he's going to use that power to his advantage. Ninety three, yep. Okay. Yeah, so I saw this ever since I was, like, three years old. And, I mean, 
As a kid, there were some parts that were a little scary, but it was always a fun movie to watch. I mean, as an adult, this movie isn't really scary, it's just fun. Yeah. Um, it's just fun to watch. And Jack Skellington is a fun character, too. Not to mention the songs. The songs are amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the lyrics to the songs? Not all of them. Okay. Um, Nor do I feel like bursting out into singing. <laughs> you're doing Connor a disservice. <laughs> oh, you! if you ever go to Disney, um, if you ever go to find yourself in, I guess I'll say Disneyland in specific, the one in California, if you go around Halloween time, yeah, um, they have, um, they convert their Haunted Mansion ride into a, um, Nightmare Before Christmas ride. So that's something you should probably check out for yourself. They don't do it well, for you the- You see, that would involve having money. <laughs> okay, so I went to Disney World in, well, I mean, I know people who've watched the channel are waiting for that next video for when I went to Disney World, and I promise I- it's just been finding the time to record the audio edit and edit. Uh, editing the audio is usually the biggest pain in the butt. I don't know if you watched that video I made. Uh, I did, but like that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. I made it. I made it like a couple months ago. But um, editing the audio is the long is the thing that takes the longest time because unlike a let's play where we can just sit and talk and ramble. I actually have to make things sound cohesive in a in a review like and take out all my ums and stutters and stuff like that. So the audio <laughs> is really the thing that takes the longest time when making a video like that. So I don't want you to think I've abandoned the project. I haven't. It's just recording the audio and then the editing the audio is like the hardest part for me. It just takes time and <laughs> I haven't had a whole lot of not it a, recently. Yeah, not everybody has all the time in the world. Yeah. But I do want it to come out because the... Oh, now I'm keeping a surprise what the next part I'm going to talk about is. For those of you who don't know, I did go to Disney World in uh, last year in September. So when I was at when I was at Disney World at the Magic Kingdom, they actually had all their Halloween decorations up. And they actually were selling a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, too. I got this cute Stitch plushie of him in a, uh... I don't know, I mean, like, like a Haunted Mansion-esque outfit while I was there, too. I haven't shown it to Connor yet, but I want to make him so jealous of it. You show it to him and then it'll just appear at your doorstep being like, MINE! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'll be like, great, you're here! We can go to Disney! <laughs> Like, I'll take you to Cinderella's castle. But if you budget the trip, like, I'm not going to act like Disney is, like, the cheapest place to go. It's not. But there are ways to budget for it, and there are ways to, like, plan around it so you don't have to stay, like, within the Disney parks and stuff. To, like, get the full experience. So there, there's ways to plan it, but like, I, I get it's not a it's not a uh, it's not a cheap it's not like a cheap trip like going to a uh, tournament for a weekend or something like that. Yeah. Like it's something you have to properly budget for. And I was mad because when I was there at Epcot, you don't know how many things I would have bought at Epcot had I budget better. <laughs> So let's see. Am I done with Heartless in this room? I mean, there were so many times whenever I would like, consistently go to anime conventions like once a year. It's just like, I want to buy everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sad I haven't been to an anime convention in a while. Um, I, ha I haven't been in like years. The last time I, was, I went to was like, yeah, 2019. Yeah, the... I don't remember. The last... It wasn't an anime convention. I think the last convention I went to was... um. What was it called? Com Bravo. When uh, SL was still around. And that was back in like 2018, I think. But I've been going to, to Vanguard tournaments and such. 
thankfully for Vanguard, you don't have to pay to get into tournaments. But it's it's essentially like taking a weekend trip still. Yeah. Let's do a Moogle run. I haven't done like a TCG tourney in quite a long time either. They're fun. I mean, like, it depends on who you go to. Or what tournament you're playing in as to what how much money you'll be spending. Because I know there are some card games where, like I said, Carbite Vanguard and Weiss Schwartz, they don't charge you to enter a tournament. But there aren't any cash prizes, so if you're looking for like those sweet cash prizes, you're not going to really get them. <laughs> you go mostly for that that uh, those medals and for glory, pretty much. And for like meeting new people and like learning yeah. new things. Mm -hmm. And just seeing how your skills match up to other people's. I probably do not have a lot of equal points to spend right now. Oh, I got a zero. Ooh. Okay. Seven a zero and a seven. Not too bad. Um, let's see. Do I have anything I can get rid of right now? Oh, yep. This one. <coughs> no, hold on to those. I need a two. I don't need a five. Not whenever we're being all classy and stingy with our cards. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna win me the tournament. I gotta get myself the good shit. I must have good numbers. I can't have bad ones. Dio Dio Watson. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. I got distracted I wanna, by my I wanna, like, like, in, like, one of my playthroughs of Chain of Memories, I wanna, like, go through and have, like, at least one of every card. Oh, uh, in like, the deck? Uh, of all levels. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it even possible to build the deck with one of each card? Or just the key plates? No, just, uh, just own. Not, like, build a deck uh, with one. I think in the PlayStation 2, uh, the the uh, PlayStation version, you do get a trophy for that. I would not know. I don't remember, though, if you do. Nah, I didn't get too great of pulls. Let me just sell what I got. You got a 7 in there, I think I saw. Yeah, I did get a 7, but I, I'm trying not to keep cards um, under... Well, zeros I'm keeping, but if they're, like, under 7, I'm not keeping them. Because at some point the enemy's gonna have over, over sevens and eight, or over sixes, and I don't feel like getting card broke. <laughs> that was it. I think I'll just save up my Moogle points for now. I'll just take a look at what the next one looks like. All right. Well. I don't know which one is the boss one yet, so if I can use a save, I'll just use a save right now. No, I can't use a save, okay? No saving game for you. No saving for me. Sure. I'll do a calm bounty. I know I should be grinding right now, but who wants to grind? <laughs> you already did that off camera. That's true. What'd I get? Gifted Miracle. What That's the gold that? card, right? Hold up. How do I look that up? Uh, map cards. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it Is was... it the white card? No. That's the white room. No, that's white room. I, unless that's a slate. How do I look up my slates? No, I don't think it's a slate. Yeah, it's a slate. Oh, it is. Um, any summon card, any magic card, and Jack. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, reloads cards and reset the counter while restoring HP to friends and foes alike. Wow, that's... Oh, bad. that's really good. Yeah. But you can only use it when you're here in Halloween Town, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Alright, so... Still, though, that's not too bad. That isn't. I know this is not the room that we're supposed to go into first, but I will still just leave it there anyway. <clears throat> Can I use my save card? Nope. How about the other, if I go the other way? No, I, I didn't, like, 
use many of the calm down peas anytime that I've played. So like I had no idea that like there were like custom slates for uh, each character. That's actually new to me, and that's really cool. Especially because that is a really damn good one. <laughs> Strong initiative. Let's do this one. Do I have another six? Yeah, I have another six for other fucking cares. We're gonna minus the enemy's card value by two. I don't know if this is the right way, but we're gonna figure it out. I gotta get a save room in there somehow. <laughs> but I have to, uh... Good, it's good stuff, Jack. Good show, good show. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, though, I am really happy that Kingdom Hearts did, like, because, like, Nightmare Before Christmas is, was one of those movies where I always wanted to see more of, like, the characters and stuff, but it, like, as an adult, I may know it makes no sense to really make a sequel to it. Yeah. So it's just good that kind of sequelness kind of lives on through Kingdom Hearts with them. Because it's more than one place you get to spend time with the characters. And that's what I like about it. Which is why I didn't mind it when um, Halloween Town was in a... In a... Days. Yeah. And I wouldn't have minded if Halloween Town came back in Kingdom Hearts 3. Although I don't think they they could have done anything with the story at that point. Surprise! Surprise! Murder! <clears throat> now Simba's turn. I don't know if you ever felt that. Mm, nah. Well, I didn't really grow up watching a lot of Disney movies. Well, I mean, some of them got crappy sequels, as we all know. Yeah. But, I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas wasn't one that was gonna get one. It was better that it never got one. I know mm -hmm. it kind of got a video game sequel, technically. But I like, I like to consider the time I spend in Kingdom Hearts with them. Maybe not a an actual sequel, but just another place where I get to spend time with the characters. And I'm getting a lot more Moogle rooms now. <laughs> when I couldn't even get them last episode. Another save card would be great, though. Or at least have a higher number one. You know, like, I... Like, as someone, like, I didn't grow up with Disney, but, like, I, I played Kingdom Hearts because of, uh, my brother was playing, and I'm like, oh, hey, that gameplay looks fun. And then, uh, here we are. <laughs> my, um, my brother was the one when we were younger that was better at video games than me, and he was the one that I would watch beat games, and I think that this was the first game, well, the first Kingdom Hearts, I mean, not Chain of Memories. Um, Kingdom Hearts was the first game I ever beat as my on my own as a kid. Because I used to watch him play, like, Zelda, uh, Majora's Mask. Um, anybody remember Diddy Kong Racing? I do. Those races are I never played it. <laughs> Those races are pains in the butt. Well, I mean, Even hey, as you gotta get the... Even as an adult, that, even as an you adult, you gotta get that playtime somehow. Yeah, even as an adult, those races are like not easy. Y'all spoiled in these days. <laughs> I feel like video games are not as hard as they as they used to be. Okay, well, well depending on what game you play. Yeah, I I I, I correct that <laughs> statement. 
I was about to say, we got games like Elden Ring right now, all the all the Souls-like games. Five Nights at Freddy's bullshit. Even though that game has been out for quite a while now, it's and I know what like a lot of the jump scares and stuff look like. It for me, I wouldn't be able to play it because just of the anxiety it induces. <laughs> like to me, it's it's not even like the well. I mean, what getting suddenly jump scared is, I mean, startles anybody. But like, it's the anxiety of it, the game that I wouldn't be able to like really handle. All right, so that's not the right way either. But at least that room is set for when we do go that way. I would love a place where I can save. No, you can't save there. No, well, you can't save here. Because this is a three card. <clears throat> I don't know what to use. <laughs> sure, this one. Not that I don't have cards to use, I just don't know which one I feel like using. The green ones are always uh, interesting to uh, make use of. Yeah, I want to see if I can get one of these to be a save room before I tackle all these heartless. Nope, that's a continuation point. Yeah, but I... Because it has the crown on the door. Mm -hmm. so, is it the treasure door or is it the story door? That is the question. So either way, it's a door. As long as it's not the door to darkness. Everyone's like, that was so last game, Neko. <laughs> so last game. I'm just gonna keep breaking your cards with my zero. Now, would this be interesting? Someone actually, with the amount of Kickstarters and stuff that we got now, do, do you think anyone would actually take this, like, take this concept of cards and chain of memories and actually turn it into a TCG? Uh, no. I feel like in a strange way it could be made to work. It would be very, very difficult to make work. But I don't think that, like, it would be, uh, work the effort, really. I guess I'm gonna continue with the story, but I I would I would love to see Tolan try to make it into effective card game. Oh, I would too. It's just like it'd be way too difficult. Mm -hmm. Allow me to introduce Doctor Finkelstein, the world famous genius. Yes, maybe too smart. I'm afraid I've created something horrible. Gosh, what's that? Well, have you ever stopped to think about true memories? True memories? Our hearts are full of memories, but not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with time. They wrap or fade, leaving us with but a shadow of what we hope to remember. Could that be happening to me? It happens to everybody. Some memories grow ugly, some become more beautiful. If we could recover our true memories, the world would seem completely different. So I devised a potion from forget-me-nots that bring our true memories back. Did it work? Well, that's the problem. As soon as the doctor got a whiff of the potion, the heartless started popping up. Sounds to me like the experiment failed. No, my research is flawless. I just need another look at the potion to find out what went wrong. Unfortunately, it's vanished. Maybe someone swiped it? Must have been Sally. Jack, you've got to find her and get my potion back. Leave it to me. Can I tag along? What for? I want to know more about these true memories the doctor keeps mentioning. Excellent! Let's go find Sally then! We'll Sally forth to find Sally. Oh right, it just transported me right here. 
Okay. I believe I walk in this room and the door's right there. <laughs> now the question is... Do I go? Go! Or do, do I... Do it! Hang on. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find a, a thing for a save. You got this! Yeah, I think I'll be fine. <coughs> you okay over there, Roki? Good. Just a cough. I'm fine. There you are, Sally. I thought I'd find you here. Who are your friends? They're interested in true memories. You have the potion, don't you? Well, yes. Could you give it back? I guess so, if you insist. But I'm afraid. All the doctor did was smell it. And the heartless appeared. What if someone drinks it? Are you kidding? What could be more exciting? I'm worried, Jack. Isn't there another way? Any ideas, Jack? Can't think of a thing. I can't give it here. Oh no, the potion! Oogie, you again! Jack, where are your manners? Hey, um, brother! <laughs> I... Uh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do the voices, but I can't, I can't, like, I can't replicate a male's voice like that that well. I'm just helping you put the potion to good use. You should thank me. You sound like you're just some, like, southern surfer dude just going like, Hey, brother, what's up, man? <laughs> well, well, just one sniff and the heartless appeared. What would happen if I choked the whole thing? That would be scary. Oh, Jack, you can't hold a candle to Oogie Boogie. Halloween Town is going to taste pain and despair beyond any nightmare. Pain and despair? Oogie, you monster! Come on, Jack, we've got to go after him. Well... Oh, it took me back to the entrance now. Are you trying to tell me something, game? Can I go save? Yeah, maybe I should just go save outside. <laughs> just in case. Can I save? Maybe I should save. Should I save? I, I think I'll save. Yes, I think I'll save. Can I get back in? Just make sure... Nothing in there. I mean, it brought me all the way back here. I might as well check the, check the stuff. Make sure that there's a, uh, no goodies hiding, since I'm here and all. I'm not too worried about the movable room since I got like a couple movable room parts. Some equal points. Huh. Thought you could land on those and give you something. No. We ain't parkouring up in here. <laughs> Alright, I think it's this one. Aren't you all glad I took the time to get through the doors? Oogie, hand over the potion! No. <laughs> <laughs> you fools don't know what, when to quit. Say, all this running's making me thirsty. Oogie, no! Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, bottoms up. Oh no. Ha ha ha, lip smacking good. Ooh, it tastes like cherries. <laughs> now I can wake in my true memories. <laughs> What's this? Whoa! Something's welling up deep inside me! Something scary! 
Okie, what's going on? No, get back! Stay away from me! I remember what you did to me in the movie! Get away, you're scaring me! You're gonna throw my bugs into a molten pot of lava! This fight's pretty easy, though. Just break his, just break his card, and so you can get up there and smack him. Why I could just use zeros to do this. All right, now I can get up here and smack him. Smack, smack, smack. Take a freeze. Simba will come out. Oh, oh. I think <laughs> a little bit too fast, and I end up uh, hitting extra keys. Man, this this fight's pretty easy right now. I always heard it considered to be like one of the easiest fights in the game. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I have to admit though, Ogi's fight was like one of the funnest ones in the um... Is usually one of the funnest fights to do in any Kingdom Hearts game. Oh my god. What, what the hell? I opened up Steam and I'm patching eight games? What the fuck? <laughs> patching eight games? <laughs> yeah, apparently eight games got like updates and stuff. Like, what? <laughs> I just had it open yesterday. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> Madness, that's what's going on. I think I can beat him if I'm quick about my taps. No, I don't own Madness Combat. I killed him! I killed him dead. That was easier than- that was- like, this game is easier than I remember. And I don't Boogie know- Boogie Boogie. Confound that Boogie! He drank nearly all my precious potion! There's only a few drops left. Sora, why don't you ask the doc if you could drink the rest? Aw, oh, heck no. No, not after that reaction. No, I'd better not. What, you don't want? Too bad, it would have been a great experiment. Now, doctor... Don't you want to find out about your true memories? Of course, now more than ever. But there's this guy, Axel. I promised I'd find the, the truth on my own. Hey, you memorized. <laughs> I just don't understand. When I inhaled the potion, Hotless appeared. And when Oki drank it, he became overwhelmed with fear. What could it mean? It means the potion was a failure. It means Oki remembered he's a little bitch. <laughs> You know, it means he remembers that he's just a sack of bugs. No, it can't be wrong. Oogie must have found his true memories. Hmm, true memories must unbalance the heart and cause unpredictable changes within. Then what about me? What happens if my true memories awaken? Perhaps something even more terrifying. But this is all just a hypothesis. I can't be sure without further research. It's all just a theory. A, a game, game theory. Thanks for watching. What's wrong, Sora? Does the doctor's theory scare you? Well, yeah. A little. That's good to hear! Fear and insecurity are signs of a strong heart. Without that strength, your zest for life would fade. As would your taste for fear. And believe me, that would ruin my fun. Thanks, Jack. I'll remember that. Then good luck, gentlemen. May you always enjoy being frightened. 
As a matter of fact, no, I don't enjoy being frightened. We got done with another world in half the time of an episode. Yeah, that sounds about right for uh, Chain of Memories. <laughs> well, for this version of Chain of Memories, probably. Well, Chain of Memories in general, really. Chain well, of Memories was... is a fairly short game. Yeah, but when I was doing, um, when we first <clears> did this, uh, when I played the PlayStation version, I feel like it took me a lot longer to get through places. Well, that was probably because you weren't as good at gaming. That is possible. Who was that I remembered earlier? It wasn't Kyrie. Was there someone else? What was her name again? I know it. It was... It was... Sora, snap out of it! What? Uh. Get a move on! You want to find Riku and the King, don't you? Well, yeah. Darn, it was on the tip of my tongue. What's on your mind, Sora? It's like you're in another world. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Snap out of it! We gotta find the King and Riku! I mean, we are in another world. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in Castle Oblivion. Ooh. Ooh. I remember! There was another girl. What? Where? No, no, I mean on the islands where I used to live. Besides Kyrie and Riku, there was one other girl I was friends with. The four of us used to play together all the time. Well, I'll be. I think this is the first time you've ever mentioned her. Yeah, I forgot all about her. I think she went away when I was still little. That's strange. Why are you remembering all that now? I'm not Castle sure. Oblivion. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's coming back to me in pieces as we go through the castle. So, what's her name? I forgot. <laughs> I don't remember. I feel kind of dumb. Here we are, saying we won't forget our friends. And I can't even remember her name. Sora? Well, there's no rush. Let's keep going. You're bound to remember it, just like the rest. I guess so. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, dun, da, da, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, in true Neko fashion. We Must say it twice. multiple times. Yeah. Something or another is bound to make you remember your friend's name. Another friend? Huh? Why didn't you mention her before? Right? I know the Olympus Coliseum is going to be a cakewalk by the time we do that, but usually when I play this game, I go to Monstro next. It was just easier for me when I was younger to do it this way. What a weird place! Everything's kind of springy and soft. Nice and warm, too. I'm starting to feel like a nap. Shouldn't you be a little more worried? Who's there? You don't get it. You're inside the belly of Monstro the Whale. Why, I know that voice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio, it's you! Come on out! Is that you, Chimney? Gosh, I never thought I'd meet you here. You can't get away from me, son. I'm your conscience. Your conscience should guide whatever you do, remember? Sure, Chimney. I've been a good boy while you were gone. I didn't tell a single lie. Now that's a lot of... <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Well, for Pete's sakes. Oops, but how did you end up inside Monstro anyway? We, uh, sort of used a special way. It's so special we don't know how we did it. Oh, yo. <laughs> Gosh. Uh -huh. That's too bad. I was hoping you could help me and Father get out of here. Well, I'll be. Geppetto's here too? Sure, want to see him? Follow me. <clears throat> it's still weird to, like, I mean, it's not as weird to me now, but when I was first learning about, like, the Order of Disney films coming out, it was weird for me to think that Pinocchio was the second ever uh, movie made, animated hmm. movie made by Disney. Like, you just wouldn't think that. This is the last barrel. Let's see if I can get a save point in here. No, oh, well, there's no door that way. I mean, I could have told you that by looking at the map on the top right corner. Why didn't you? Because I didn't know you were looking for a door. I thought you were looking for goodies. Rookie saw me struggling. It's like, nah, she'll figure it out on her own. I mean, that too. <laughs> <laughs> right. I still can't believe they call him Fat Bandit, but they call this one full. What is it? Full body? No, not full body. Big body? What is it? Um. Large body. Oh. But they're not afraid to call him large body. I mean, they're afraid yeah. to call him... They're fat, afraid to call him fat body. Although I feel like that would probably cause more problems than it was worth. Well, well, this is a one. I can at least... Use the save part here. Oh, I'll see you ever just like find something and you're just like, huh? And then you just become entranced by it for like hours. Like, are we talking about something you did you forgot that you had, or something? No, something that you just something that you found. Um, sort of. Because I started watching a. Uh, rug cleaning videos on YouTube, and they're just like... Wait, what kind of cleaning videos? Rug. Rug. Oh, rug cleaning. Yeah, no, those... Yeah, yeah those kind of things, yeah, I, I do get entranced by that. Especially when they're all really dirty and they make mm. them look practically new. Yeah. Because, like, I have... <laughs> for, like, past, like, couple days, I have, like, been, like, on a binge of just watching them. Just, like, it's so satisfying. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Oh, hell no, we're selling a premium cargo yet. It's just like, it's so satisfying. It is, because it's just like getting all that dirt and grime off. I'm selling that right away. You're open, so at least I am. Come back to me when I need you. Although I was also watching a ton of just like, satisfying, uh, I was just watching a ton of videos of just people doing their job really well, and it's just that's also just so satisfying as well. What What do you mean by doing the job really well? Like people like doing their job and just like doing it in like a really really good way, and just like wow. Are you talking about There's, like those um, <laughs> like I've seen the videos of people like like cleaning hooves off the hooves of horses and donkeys that are all like really distorted and disgusting those videos are satisfying for me to sit down and watch no just like any any job where it's like you got like people who are like working in construction and just like 
could basically almost look like they can do it blindfolded <laughs> with like how they're doing it. <laughs> or like those people that do those paintings where it's like it starts off with just a few drops but then it becomes like the most elaborate thing you've ever seen. I haven't seen those, no. Like, I've seen those and that, like, I give artists a lot of credit because it's a talent I wish I had. I can't draw for anything. <laughs> and I wish I could because it's, it's, a, it's a talent I really respect being able to create stuff like that. But my drawing skills are duty. Right. Same. Actually, let me just go fight some Harkless in this room. Just because I'm gonna need the experience anyway. I was never really one for art. I mean, not that I didn't like art, it's just I don't have the, the drawing skills for it. I like coloring, though. Does that count for anything? <laughs> I, I like see. I like looking at art. Like I don't like doing art. I can appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Donald, you missed. Okay. Oh, didn't miss that one. Wow, why are there a lot of you? Okay, just be finished them off. Good job. Good job. Oh, I upgrade again? What was the last thing I upgraded? I don't think I got a new slide in a while. Blitz. 10 through 15, that's weak. That's really weak. No, the Moogle points. All of those Moogle okay. points. They're gone! Like I said, it's no, uh... It's no Sonic Rush or whatever. <laughs> what, what's Sonic Blade or something. I don't remember the name of the slate off the top of my head right now. Oh. Oh, I thought you were actually referring to a Sonic game. No, I'm talking about the slates. <laughs> no, I know, but I was like... I was like, the way you said it, I was like, what's... Why is he talking about a Sonic game? No, I'm talking about slates! I know, but my brain went to Sonic, a Sonic game for some reason. And I was about to be like, I know no like next to nothing about Sonic. I mean, for me it depends on the game. I don't play a lot of Sonic, but like, there are some games I was just like, no, I could fuck up with Sonic. <laughs> I can't, I... I tried playing, oh, like, I mean, uh, that video was a while ago, but when I tried playing original Sonic, I kept getting screwed over. Oh no, I had a, t I had a terrible introduction to Sonic. Because my first Sonic game was, uh, Sonic Genesis on the Game Boy Advance. Oh. I, again, what? I don't know anything about any of the Sonics, so, except for, like, Sonic Genesis, so Sonic Genesis is Sonic 1 on a Game Boy Advance with a fuck ton of slowdown, terrible audio, and screen crunch that uh, is so goddamn bad. How bad are we talking? I'd say 70% of the screen is Sonic. Oh gosh. <laughs> that does sound terrible. Get back! Get back you monsters, back! So, for all the people who can play, so like, I, it, it's like night and day. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> but like, uh, for all the people who complained about Scarlet and Violet having all that slowdown, uh, Sonic Genesis was worse. <laughs> uh, I mean, I get people's complaints for Scarlet and Violet, but it's it, it's still, and I know people are saying my excuse is not any better that I'm just feeding into it. But I'm having fun playing the game. Damn it. <laughs> And, like, none of the glitches have ever... There's only been, like, one or two instances where I'm in a raid. And the... And, like, the raid wouldn't load to the end, so I had to redo it. But I haven't, like, had an experience where I've lost my data. Or... 
like the glitch was so bad that I couldn't even play the game. Does, do the problems need to be fixed? Yes. But am I enjoying the game? Hell yeah. Yeah, you could still enjoy like a glitchy mess. So long as like it functions long enough for you to be able to have fun. Yeah, it, it, and it, that's what it does. Like, I don't think there's anything game-breaking in there. I know the people that get the game-breaking glitches are the ones that play it off an emulator, and, I mean, there you go, there's your first problem. Well, there are people who, I've, I've heard people who played it off of Switch and had those game-breaking bugs. Really? I Yeah. I thought everyone that was getting the game-breaking bugs were playing off an emulator, or... No. ...some type of enhancement to their Switch. No. Well, some of them, yes, but not all of them. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's mo well, that's mostly the problem. Yeah, is um people that either aren't getting the game legally or or messing with the game when they shouldn't be. Is that everything in this room? Please tell me that was everything in this room. I still need to finish my Pokedex, though. I'm pretty close. I just need a bunch of the Scarlet exclusives. I just need a mirror. Oh, no. Well, I technically need my own Miraidon. But, um, I need to get in the love ball. <laughs> yes, I have not given up my objective of getting any Pokemon I can in the love ball. Thanks to those raids that we've been getting, I've been getting my those impossible Pokemon in Love Ball. Cinderace, Greninja, uh, I already- Sidui? Yeah, I technically had to Sidui beforehand, but yes. And now Samurott's coming. I know by the time this episode airs, Samurott will not be a raid anymore, but- Also, apparently it just got- it, it got announced earlier the day that we're recording this that, uh, there's gonna be a Flying Lechonk raid. Oh, I thought that was a gift from GameStop. Is it? I don't know. It's a, it's a gift from GameStop, which, I mean, I think they could have done better than a Lechonk with a Flying mm -hmm. Terra. Oh yeah, okay. They could have done a lot better than a Lechonk with a Flying Terra. Just saying. But, um... I'm hoping they also do Rillaboom and uh, Intellion, because I need those in Love Balls as well. And I didn't even finish, like, my Love Ball Legendary hunt in uh, Sword and Shield before this came- before Scarlet and Violet came out. So, like, I still have to go back and catch, like, Regieleki and stuff like that in the Love Ball. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like, hey, I catch Pokemon. I don't care what it's in. I- I was like that at first, but then I was like, the Love Ball is kind of my aesthetic, so I may as well. And because Sword and Shield made it so easy to catch legendaries in a love ball, all you had to do was just win the raid and you got it. That's what made me decide to do it. <laughs> and these kind of function like that too. Okay, I need I need the map. Okay, I need to go down one. I am going to do these fights. Just not right at this moment. I know I'm abusing the crap out of this room. But hey, I'd rather beat the enemies quickly without worrying about them breaking the fights. What is this? Oh, okay. Not the right way. That's what it is. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, Mr. Bond. Mm -hmm. At least it's the, it's there for when it is time. I have the cards that I needed to play. Oh, hey. The cards that I needed. That to game play. came out. Huh? That game came out. Which game? Uh, Altlar, uh Razor Three. It's a... it's a JRPG. Okay. 
I still need to beat the first one, <laughs> and then the second one before I even look at the third one. Breath of the Wild sequel is coming out. Um, by the time this releases, it's probably going to be, like, very close to release time. My nephew is already, like, uh, is already asking me for if I can um, get it so he can digitally download it the same day. Instead of waiting for the physical <laughs> copy for his birthday. Which I will do. There's a lot of games that I need to like just sit down and just go through because it's like, you know, I haven't played I haven't beaten these games. I wanna beat these games. I feel that and Goofy missed. I would and love there to was Oh, go ahead. And then there's this game that I, I need to uh, sit down and play through with my one friend because it's like, we started it, we were having a grand old time just laughing at it, just like, man, it took us a two and a half out. it took us like two and a half hours to get to the first fucking combat because it was all cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like, you know, this game is also based off of an anime, so. <laughs> Which anime? Uh... I always fail at saying this. Uh, Utawara Ramano. Uh, does it have an English translated name? Nope. <laughs> Did you talk about this last time? And I said I didn't know it. Oh, you, was it the anime that you said came out in like 2006? That might have been it, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I... No, you see, I, I forget who I talk to things. I forget <laughs> who I talk to people about. <laughs> no, I'm the same way. I'm gonna become, uh... I'm gonna become, uh, Jared uh, from, uh, doing, uh, the Disc Only thing, uh, where he was just like, hey, have I told you about uh, the time where, uh, I where I got customer service call from, uh, the guy, from, uh, Kyle Ward, the guy who made uh, the DDR machine that I have. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Because he, he told that story, uh, I think, like, two weeks in a row, I want to say. Or, like, or like two two episodes in a row. I can believe that. I can believe that I've probably told the same story about stuff multiple times over. Not intentionally. But it's it's come up. Some stuff comes up multiple times. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember if I talked to you about th that anime, about that game, or if I talked to my girlfriend about that game. I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I never brought that up. <laughs> well, hello, Roki's girlfriend, if you're ever watching this. You know, the funny thing is, on the day of recording, it's also her birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh, happy birthday, Roki's girlfriend. What's her name? So I don't have to keep referring her to Roki's girlfriend. Uh, she goes by Shiba. Shiba? Yeah. Well, happy birthday, Shiba. You get a special shout out from me. <laughs> It's just funny how it's just like everything goes full circle. Yes, it does. Oh boy. I hopefully I didn't find the first room. I know we're running out of time. So I still you might have missed it. <laughs> I think it's probably deeper in the chamber. But at least I got the other room set deeper. up so that way. Chamber. I mean, not like we're in a complicated castle or anything. Not like we're in a complex castle that's supposedly trying to steer us in the wrong direction all the time. Yeah. That would be ridiculous. I know. Maybe I should just like take a day of the week and just be like, okay, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a game that I want to beat, and then like play that for like hours. And then, like, after, like, hopefully, like, after, like, a month, I beat the game. <laughs> Unless we're talking about, like, uh, some games that I know I'm looking at Persona 3 Portable right now that take, like, 90 hours. <laughs> or, like, for, like, I tried to watch Dio play through Persona 5, like, three times already. <laughs> and, I mean, I've, I've been enjoying it. But every time, like, something keeps getting in the way, and, he, and we keep forgetting to continue it. Oh no, I watch a, one a YouTuber that I watch, uh, 
I was I've been rewatching his uh, Persona Five Royal uh, stream vods, and uh, yeah, he that was a lot of uh, time that he spent in that because uh, it was like twenty four streams I want to say, 24? all of like five hours each. Twenty four. Hold up. Yeah, twenty four. So it was like a hundred, like at least a hundred and twenty hours of uh, him playing the game. Well, was he completing everything? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. He was getting all the uh objectives and stuff like that. He did he did all the social links. He did all, he did everything and just like, you know. And the entire time he was like, I'm having a good time. So it's like, you know. Definitely. Which reminds me. If I've you're a... if you're having a good time, then like why stop? Definitely. But unfortunately, we have to stop this episode for now. Because but of, we're having uh, such a good time. <laughs> I know I am too, but that's why we got another episode coming up. Well, for you guys, it'll be a week. For us, it'll be recording right after we're done with this one. But next time, we'll continue through Monstro, and we will um, find a way out of here, hopefully. And until yeah. the next episode, guys, it's Mayor Carneco. Loki Magician. And we'll see you all next time. Later, later.